uh, this is the page to download the 3D people. So you err. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, scroll down. And there are three sets. I'll go for this one. Just click download. And once downloaded, unzip the file. Now in Blender, import the object file. I'm gonna scale it down. Now we have two other textures. But some materials have no name and there's no texture. So first I'm gonna delete the materials. Now in edit mode, select all the faces, then hit P and choose by loose parts. I'm gonna join the hands with this character. Now create a new material, select the shader and press Ctrl T. To do this, you need the Node Wrangler add-on in Preferences, Add-ons. Make sure Node Wrangler is activated. Now let's find the Maps folder and add the textures. For example, the name of this character is Miguel Scarf. And for this, Caitlyn. I'm gonna show you the names of the characters. You can pause the video and take a screenshot if you like. And hopefully this will make it easier to add the textures. Also, make sure to set specular to zero, since we don't need a glossy material. Now you can add the people to your scene. If you want to use geometry nodes or particle system, you need to change the origin of each character. So in edit mode, select a vertex or vertices and shift test cursor to select it. Now go back to Object Mode, right click and Origin to 3D Cursor. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna select all the characters and send them to a new collection by pressing M and name the collection. Now I'm going to add a plane, scale it up, and don't forget to apply the scale. Also we have to apply scale and rotation of the characters. I'm going to open geometry nodes here. Click New, and search for Distribute Points on Faces, and drop it here. Now add Instance on Points. and drag the collection here and connect to instance. Make sure you check the box in pick instance. Also, separate children and reset children. In distributed points, we can change density. Also, seed. And we can switch to portion disk 
Here we can also change density. We can set the minimum distance to prevent overlapping. Now to randomize the rotation, add a random value. and change to vector now connect to rotation and i want to randomize the rotation but only on the c-axis shift d to duplicate it and change to float now connect to scale and I'm going to set both values to 1 and randomize the scale just a little bit. If you need to see the plane, add a join geometry. And connect input to geometry. But I'll leave it as it is. And we can still edit the plane. Go into edit mode. We can scale it. Also, we can add a loop cut and extrude the edge. And you can save this file and use it with Asset Browser. Or just copy the plane with Ctrl C. Now go to your scene and control B to paste it. If you scale the plane in object mode, make sure to apply the scale. But of course, you can also add the characters individually. I hope you find the video helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.